today on Snowwalker Outdoors, we're going to show you how to make this the easiest alcohol stove hack you're ever going to see. Small, compact, fits right inside your cup for carrying. Don't go away. this project very simply Oof, empty can of cat food nothing really special about that you can use any brand that you like chicken and tuna dinner and gravy mmm good stuff clean it out we don't want cat food in the stove okay then we're gonna take the label off okay you know what else we're gonna do we're going to take the garbage, we're going to take it out with us because we don't want to leave the woods dirty. Carry it in, carry it out. You're also going to be doing this before we go out. Next thing you need, ordinary hole punch. Ooh, check it out, specialized tool there. What are we going to do? Very simply. We're going to take our hole punch right here on the edge we're gonna line this up and we're just gonna start making holes and what we're do what we're gonna do is we're gonna go all the way around the first row so here's our first set of holes and we've gone all the way around again they're not perfect they don't need to be perfect you just need to have that first set next thing we're gonna do is now we're gonna put a second row in between these we're going to cut these in half and just make it a little bit lower so that alcohol stove really quick and easy project that we're going to do today why would we do that well, i'll tell you it's been raining here for the last 10 days on and off everything is pretty much wet most of it is at least marginally wet so i don't want to go through the hassle of sitting there and making a fire just to make one cup of tea well Here's another reason. Conversely, what happens if we're in an area where it's extremely dry and you can't make a fire? They're advising you not to because of the fire danger. You could have a forest fire. We don't want to do that. We don't want to be selfish. We shouldn't be doing that. And I got to tell you that if you're a guy that goes out and makes fires when you're not supposed to and you don't pay attention to the rules, I got nothing for you. And I wouldn't spend the day in the woods for you. Now once we've got our second row of holes, it's ready to use. Let's go get some heat, we'll put it in, we'll make some tea water. We're going to use, check that, ooh, ah, listen what we're going to do is we're going to use the normal amount that most backpackers meals use. They use about two cups, that's what we're going to use today. So we're going to put two cups of water into our cup and we're going to boil that up. I'm going to use roughly about an ounce to probably about an ounce and a half of the heat right over there. Okay, two cups. Put my lid on. Why? Because we know that it'll boil faster when we have a lid on there. Take the heat. Again, yellow container, not the red one. We want the yellow. And there we go. It's 
take a look at where we are. Okay, there you go. Not too bad. Pretty good rolling boil. Enough for a tea. So, the only thing that I would do is just take this off. And if we take a look, we still see that there is some left. Uh, there you go. A little bit of flame left, so we'll let that burn out. So you know the greatest thing about this is that once it burns out of fuel, it cools down very quickly, take it and throw it in your pack and it's good to go. Um, I think it took about seven and a half, almost eight minutes to boil, and I'll be perfectly honest with you, the reason why is because I kept checking it when the camera wasn't on it because I wasn't gonna inundate you with eight minutes of looking at a pot boil. So um, some people do it, I, I won't do it. You can see it boiled. And that's the main thing. You see how easy it works. Uh, I hope you liked it. It's just a fast, simple, old-time bushcrafting, woodcrafting little project. I think uh, a lot of times we've gotten away from things like this, and I'm, I'm no exception to it. I do go out, I buy things, I try them, all for the, the sake of the new shiny toy. Um, and maybe we need to just get back to doing our old stuff the way that we used to. I used to use a coffee can uh, as my... Uh, my cup, my stove, my cup, uh, you know, a pot, everything. Maybe we'll, we'll even go into that. So, anyway, um, I'm going to finish my tea, and I'm going to let you guys finish out your day. Thanks for your views and your comments. Brian from Snowwalker Outdoors. Till the next one, walk the woods.